Remember those 700 students who are about to be deported? So the minister, Sean Fraser, talk about it and give an update. So in this video, let's talk about the letter of acceptance and how would you make sure that your letter of acceptance is not a fake one. Hi, my name is Coach MC and I'm your SLE Planner, Study Live Explore Canada and we do help aspiring international students to plan their journey here to Canada. So if you're new to my channel, make sure that you are subscribed and also if you want to see more videos and content like this, make sure that you subscribe and like this video. So this 700 students who are about to be deported got a fake letter of acceptance they even got here to canada and finished their studies they got their pgwp or the postgrad work permit and about to apply for the permanent residency and then that's the time they get caught and this letter of acceptance was given to them by a fraud agency so in this video let's talk about the recent update from ircc what are the improvements that they're gonna do and what are the things that you have to do as an incoming student to make sure that you have a real and not a fake letter of acceptance sean fraser mentioned during his speech a while ago and he mentioned that he will give an opportunity to those 700 students to stay here in Canada as long as you can prove that you were not involved in that fraudulent activity that just happened. The task force will consider particular factors, including whether a person completed their study, including their level of knowledge of any fraudulent scheme that may have underpinned their application, and those who are found not to have had knowledge and who have been genuine applicants to the student program will be given permission to stay in Canada for a period of a few years so they can either complete their studies or potentially remain in Canada and work over the next few years. So for example, during the investigation, they will double check if you came here as a genuine student. So if they found out that you came here as a student and you work immediately and not study, then it will be harder for you to prove that you know you were not involved in that incident. So according to the minister, they will be creating a task force just to check your letter of acceptance. Uh, in 2018, uh, the department launched a new process to strengthen the verification of letters of acceptance. And where they had reason to believe that there was fraud amongst certain applications that fall within the hundreds of thousands we received, uh, we then had a process to reach out to individual colleges and universities uh, to verify those letters. Uh, with many hundreds of thousands and uh, an analog system, frankly, that existed in 2018, it wasn't uh, possible or easy to uh, do the same verification for every one of the many hundreds of thousands of applications. Uh, going forward, uh, we're developing new tools, uh, digital tools, that are going to allow us more seamlessly to work with colleges and universities. They're also creating a tool just to double check the authenticity of your document. They're going to collaborate with the CBSA when checking your documents. So if you are an incoming student and you're about to go to Canada, let's say you're approved, always bring your letter of acceptance with you print it out and make sure that you have a real one with you because definitely when you cross the border they will double check it and also verify if it's a real one in this particular case uh, we have reason to believe that there were agents who are currently in a third country ircc does not have a criminal enforcement branch with the ability to extraterritorial uh, uh, extraterritorially uh, implement Canada's criminal laws. Uh, that is something that we will have to work with partners on the global stage to ensure that the partners that rely on us to accept students continue to have enforcement mechanisms in their home countries. So as you know guys, these students got their letter of acceptance from a fraud agent. That's why they got the fake one. So if you're working with an agent, make sure that this agent is an authorized agent to recruit international students to a specific designated learning institution. Some immigration consultants and educational agents are directly partnered with the uh, schools here in Canada or 
Otherwise, they're partnered with the Apply Board, which is the biggest platform that they use when they're applying for the letter of acceptance. And what I noticed, some scam agents are based outside Canada. They're actually one person pretending to be SLE, and some student just mentioned that to me, and they're actually in the Philippines, and they're pretending to be SLE. So they're like scammers out there, guys, so be vigilant. So if you will be working with an agent, and I would highly suggest that get someone who are actually based here in Canada because if your agent is here, they definitely follow the Canadian law. So let's say you got your letter of acceptance. How would you double check if this real? If you get your letter of acceptance from the designated learning institution, you basically get that document from the school. And when you get the student ID, you get that from the school. Double check if it's an official email of the institution. Guys, if your agent is asking for tuition fee payment, please, for the love of God, do not pay your agent. You have to pay the school. If you're paying your tuition fee, you have to pay the school directly. You can pay them through, through Flywire or bank deposit. There's so many ways to pay the school. You don't have to pay through an agent. So ideally, you get the offer letter first, and then you pay the tuition fee, and then you get the official letter of acceptance. So you can always double check by emailing the school just include your student ID, your full name, and your program just to verify if you're actually registered. So just by uh, getting an official email from the school, it's just one way for you to verify if you got the real letter of acceptance. And I'm so glad that IRCC is taking action on this where they are creating a tool to verify your letter of acceptance. But then again, you don't want to get the fake one and you want to make sure that you yourself, you can double check or spot a fake letter of acceptance. So I hope you guys learn a lot from this video. And in the next one, we're going to talk about what's next after getting your letter of acceptance. So thank you guys for watching this video. And again, we do have an event that is going to happen on July 23 and 20 do in United Arab Emirates. If you're interested to meet us at SLE, please go to the description box and register now because we have limited spot. Thank you guys for watching again and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!